to dip their toes into competition through those online tournaments. L I... Many players over the last few years would not have been able to become as confident as they now are had it not been for things like Coliseum. One hundred percent. And this goes back in time to the beginnings of Pro League, one of the first online mega long series, uh, followed up by so many others that these guys, I mean, early on in MKX, we saw champions bred in the online realm transition into offline. I mean, that's where Rewind, Rewind Tweety, 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 Amish, all of them got started. And this is nothing but hugs here. And this is a really big run back happening before our eyes. This is Aztec going up against Han Rashid. Two incredibly exciting players to watch and playing out of their minds today. Aztec has been entering any online cup he can you get his hands on, really. And that's on one of the main promise. reasons that he's become so strong now in year three. Known originally, actually, for those that don't know, Aztec started his MK career competitively for many as the only variationless main in MKX. He used variationless Kotal Khan. And he used it quite effectively. And even early on in MK11, was the only one using Totemic at a competitive level and was doing decent damage. So a Kotal Khan specialist, Aztec most certainly is, and he's gonna drink that Wind God Blood, that Hawaiian Punch. He's trying to ride that wave of momentum, oh boy! He's keeping it guaranteed damage. I love Kotal Khans that use obscure specials. He's got one Air Cat, one of the most underrated tools in MK11. We've been finding out some secret sauce about it. If spaced, if miss spaced, wow. And that was kind of like minus, that. minus two. But if spaced perfectly, plus two, one of the only plus frames that leaves Coltacon in your face for a down one mix up. That is actually incredibly powerful. But I feel like a player like Aztec has discovered that as Totemic was a variation that had the cats anyway. You know, we asked we asked Aztec a long time ago, hey, why'd you use this variation? Simply put, he went, oh, I just think it looked cool. That was it. He just thought it was cool, and now here we are. But I see where we also are. Close game in this first round. And Han Rashid sticking out that forward three. Doing the special afterwards a little bit late. Clearly a reaction. You, know, you have a pretty large cancel window on forward three. Makes it so scary. Woo! Pretty bit to the forward three on that one. As a reminder, this is a, uh, Aztec won this 3 0 on their winner side uh, encounter. And Han Rashid, you know, he's been in the lab. Say, what does he do against this big old Aztec? What a weird trade, and he's able to get the down one out. Hey, Aquaman, I'll tell you, it's very rare that a run back goes exactly the same way as it played out before. Players of this caliber, those adaptations are going to be real, looking at the losses, realizing what you could have done. They know they're in each other's path. Hard Rashid sitting there thinking, right, okay, I lost last time, but why? And now, yes. any kind of adaptation. Lovely, flawless block, and the immediate breakaway at Ooh. tech. It's a bit of a mix up there. Wow! Oh my goodness! Get out of my skies, mister! No one on planet Earth was ready to convert off of that. <laughs> right there! Almost over him, Hunt. A nice duck underneath the pizza. Dragon 1 is going to be a high. No punish on that. Whiffy for days. Look at the hitbox of that cat. It ain't playing around. It has a great Oki as well, no matter where it hits. Han Rashid uh, being a little bit risky with the play so far. Aztec sticking out that down forward two. Immediately to try and catch some kind of break! He doesn't have meter. If Aztec had meter for Amplify, he would have absolutely crushing blowed and he would have taken the round. Oh! Oh, my oh God! You saw it hit him out of the magical, shadowy transition into a Panther. And he got annihilated for it, but he lost 40 health. Kotal Khan, if he didn't have 1050, would have been a dead Aztec right there at seven seconds. Closing the gap, and Han Rashid says, I'm going to do this jump kick so fast that no button you press is going to stop me. And he takes game number one. That was crazy. You saw the turquoise fog appear, and him gets sniped out of it. That's going to be possibly the most perfect way for the first Fuji. game to go. I mean, a clear understanding oh. variation and ah, on a minute, right. Gosh. Aztec was known, right, probably going back into Kotal, but let's actually let the people know just in case they're unsure. So Aztec has always been a Kotal Khan loyalist. However, there were some matchups that he did not like. And eventually, oh, look at that. Robocop was seen to be that kind of pocket character. I haven't seen him use Robocop in some time, but just look at that. MKX, beautiful baby. Shirt. Beautiful shirt. Yesterday had on the Versace. Today's got the MKX Kotal on. Oh! Ooh. Steel stage two. Oh, there's Papa Khan's pizza. Coming in hot and ready here at top eight. Special counter hit combo deal. Oh, one stagger. 
towards Saga still looking for a whip punish on Rajid. I think he might see something that wasn't that. One of the slowest whips that we've seen all night. Come on, punish! Pick throw? No, it takes it away. And he uses both cats, does Aztec. Air one and grounded one with two completely different uses. Animal, let's take wake up down two. Wake up down two, rather calculated though. If you're gonna try and pressure on someone's wake up with a high, you gotta watch out for that uppercut. Reverse throw, giving Han Rashid breathing space. Time to think. There's the cat again. Every time the cat's blocked, I mean, he's not punishable, but he does lose the meter, so it's a bit of a risk. You don't wanna get caught without too much resources. Ooh, wow, that whip fucked up the town four, too. No more profile in here. Now with the fatal blow lock loaded, and the fact that there's meter. 30 seconds on the clock, man. I mean, there's a chance. Aztec has a bar. Is he afraid to do a full screen cap right now? Is Han Rashid good at interrupting it? I think Woo! the cat won't kill him at this health either. I don't even think he cares. No, well, that nice. fatal blow will, though. And now he has to walk into forward two range, and all of a sudden you're playing the, you're playing the Kotal Khan roulette wheel of death. Are you going to get hit by this forward two or not? And he's throwing out fake wind pushes. Oh, wait. Unfortunately, though, over commits and eats an interactable. That was not part of the plan. And there's the one, two. This cat's going to take way too long. The damage is going to kill anyway. Mm -hmm. But who cares? Oh, no. Oh. Is this, is this Han Rashid or Aztec doing this? Uh, it looked like it was Han Rashid. That head shake does not look frustrated with your opponent. That looks frustrated at yourself. Yes. Me. That. What? What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. I feel. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need a, a quick break, you know, technical difficulties. Oh my god. Come on, guys. It sure is down two around here. <laughs> down two city population, us tonight. Going downtown, nice early cancel from Han Rashid. If you float too long, that disc will come and get you. We are in that. We are in one of one of the cities of pizza here in the land of the. I United mean, it really States. depends on how many people would call it pizza. I call it pizza, and I'd actually go as far to say it's my favorite form. However, a conversation for another time. We jump in. The one-two confirmed. The downfall two is great anyway. Silence. And I think Aztec getting a little bit of momentum, much needed momentum. Indeed. Expect to see some pokes in the cat right here to bait out Han Rashid that's been reading command grab every single time by holding up it. That was a weird interaction of her boxes and Han Rashid trying everything to get out. And Aztec with the 4-3 makes his way in. We have ourselves a set at one game apiece. Aztec taking a deep breath. Well, from game one on its own, we've already confirmed that this runback is not going to be a repeat of what happened last time. Fight. Question is, how does their story end? That's second half Rashid currently at one game apiece. That Weibu Weibu, great to grab to open things up here. Han Rashid off to a good start. And that's the win point. So you may look at it. I remember when this move first got kind of released, people looked at it like, wait, well, it doesn't do any damage. How can it be good? Oh! I'll finish my trade of thought later, because that was just this. What, yes. What's so galaxy brained about what Hunter Chief just did right there is the fact that Aztec was in the God Ray. You expect Kotal Khan to stay in there and soak up the sun a little bit more, but he challenged it with the fall of Swamp. The movement out and in in a matter of moments. He's moving around the screen. Two of the best wave dashes that exist in the game. Close the gap with the cat. And, and watch out, watch his use of the ground cat as well. If he's backed up to the corner and pushes his opponent to the corner because it covers so much ground even on the wall. Not at the corner at the moment though, at command. Han Rashid happy to sit on this mid screen, really keep himself there as long as physically possible. Oh. <laughs> Injustice says hello with that one. It, interactables all around. Looking to, sh you know, just looking to hit confirm a lot of damage with that 2 2 1. One of the rare starters of that combo, watcher starter of Kotal Khan's that you never see on display. Han Rashid drawing first blood here of game at number three and just a whiff one. Oh! And down forward coming out perfectly timed underneath the, the forward one. He's gonna praise the sun, not gonna punish for it. And that would have been death if that would have hit with the gun ray still active. Now he's gonna get punished. The jump is gonna be pretty good. I gotta say that that sun ray was a good decision because, I mean, a lot of Fusion players, they use that skywalk and they wanna go and pull it from the screen. Happy to go, you know what? You can do that? Yeah, let's heal up. So much has happened since then, though, as Han Rashid had some good momentum. There's a punish! Counter hit says. Crushing blow says hello, and Han Rashid does not want to risk a breakaway there. Yeah. Now we didn't have the meter initially, but not worth it at that point. Well, interestingly enough, the armor breaker is not guaranteed off of that crushing blow. You have to break it straight away, don't you? Yes. Yep. Don't worry, mate. I've seen it plenty oh, of times. Yeah. Oh yeah. But that stand three into it is trying to bait that later 117 health. Grass that gear gets past the back two, and it's going to be tough. I oh! Just the oh no, he got a fatal blow. Now when he can do it. Oh, come here, grab! Wait, he's taking the juice. He does get Oki off of this 4-2 in a dream. 
any held up if Aztec would have done I can't believe it if he would have done what is kind of the bread and butter there you don't wait and then forward two because that gives your opponent too much time to actually do something if you forward two you stop them from being disrespectful in that moment that's but it is a scary situation because of the wake up options here in MK11 so there were so many layers to that final moment oh yeah the moment the command grab comes out, I mean, I was even thinking, like, is Aztec going to amplify this or not? Because you amplify, yeah, you get damaged, but you lose the setup. You know, there's, it's very often that a Cole Khan player will stick out that command Sorry, grab. They'll let it rock without amplifying it mid-screen because dash up and being able to get some yes. kind of hokey. You That's actually one of the biggest amplifying. questions that we get as Cole Khan players is why, why and, and in Twitch chat, why does no Cole Khan amplify their command grab? Because they don't want to lose pressure. Round if you lose pressure as Cole Khan, to me that's wasted time <laughs> and wasted space. Han Rashid currently 2-1 up here on Aztec. Aztec has had plenty of pop-offs in this tournament, mostly saying that, I mean, you can see how much this kind of result would mean to him. Top 8 is one thing, but everyone in this top 8, they don't want it to end here. They want to see as far as they can go, maybe even take the whole thing. And Aztec, a journey of two years at least, but talking a journey to be harder indeed. From day one, he's been grinding this round. And one of the most... Oh! <laughs> oh about. Still, still going to chase him down though with that wave dash. And in that respect, get a crank grab. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what the mind game was there behind that. Hold on a second, big buttons are being impressed. Big damage to the corner, taking a chunk out of that neck. You might have taken the whole, the whole, the whole thing, let me be honest with you. Up three works. First time, up three, but use a quick confirm into that fatal blow. I think this is death. He's gonna nail. I'm sorry, hammer the proverbial nail. I think he's alive. The offense is just like 15 damage here at the end. Yeah, 58. He's gonna praise the sun. Nogus, 4 3 fatal. Look out. Whoa, hang on a minute. Han Rashid just dashing in saying, you know, mate, I'm like, oh, oh the back. Are you serious? The now audacity. What? The audacity. He's just gonna hold up on wake up, and it's the right read. Han Rashid, look at the slide in Aztec's DM. Gotta think he that. said, I got him close, my friend. Han Rashid got a bit of a taste of his own medicine there. That's exactly how he ended the last game oh. with the pizza. Out of nowhere. Oh no. Oh no. Oh wait, you gonna put him back? Put him back in there. Hey! Oh, so Cook him a little bit more. Looks like meat's back on our menu, boys. The question is, how did the Uruguay know the, the, the word menu? <laughs> anyway, 2K. Wait, wait. Totally irrelevant. <laughs> totally irrelevant. However, that is food for thought, is it not? Aztec pushes forward the discus to create that space for the chip damage. Not gonna challenge that jump in. A risk that might not be worth taking at this point. Rashid can only do so much from this range. I mean, and that's what exactly going to do because push is going to do, do no damage. God Ray is actually a really good threat against Fujin and a staple, as it were. And when we talk about this matchup a lot, God Ray is actually a bust, especially full screen. It forces Fujin to come to you. In mo most cases, they're not even here. But as long as he's got Fatal Blow, you really don't want to do that. If you're in range of uh, Wave Dash, well, that's a huge air to air. He's going to take the damage that he can. But uh, the Portal Con will live. I mean,. It is Fujin's fatal blow, though. I don't think he. Oh my goodness! Wait a second. Oh no, no, mind, no, mind. You're right. You're right. You're right. It is 1050 health. Yeah, 1050. 1050. It's it's safe. No! Oh man! And then he wasn't blocking it. It's gonna get him killed. Unbelievable! Oh, you hate to see it. Dedicates to the tick grab and the jab lands, making yourself open for punishment this is now going to be a match point for Han Rashid what a tragic way to go out if Aztec does not manage to secure this lovely Sunray Han Rashid he's taken a lot of damage to do this and now he's in trouble plus frames Price to Antia no one home we're amplifying it now boys damage. hey hey damage buff loaded too it was ready for the wake up and this is going to do all of the damage in the realm of Aztec amplify too hey hey and look at his tattoos. This man is glowing. Unblockable. I thought the SX special was coming. He's really feeling himself right now. I thought you were the wind god, so I'd send you to the skies. Healers pick up here. Han Rashid needs to make this comeback happen. And the wake up jump. Winning round one and three with the exact same strat. With this being loser's bracket though, folks. I mean, this is the one match left to go. Elimination territory. Someone's going to be out at seven. Neither players want it to be them. This man's talking to the coach of his opponent. <laughs> Did he just give advice to the person giving advice to his opponent? No, that's when he goes, hey, come here, come here, come here. You're a scrub. Hey, hey, come here, come here. What you said doesn't matter. I'm going to wake up jump still. So <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter. I'm Aztec. Do we just do the Quan Chi laugh? <laughs> Mule. Woo!
Wule! No, it's too, this needs to be lower. Wule! 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 Ah, that was better. That one was better. I'm gonna add the operatic. One anyway. G for MK12. 2-2 two -two here in Losers Round 1 of Top 8. Combo Breaker 2022. Starting off with 241 guaranteed damage, mind you, with that sword from hell that is Kotal Khan's Quarter Circle 4 or 2. If you ask me to pronounce it, I will not be able to. Oh, I couldn't even begin. But once more, Aztec definitely realized that if Wind Push is going to be a threat, then that Sunray is going to be something to try and challenge. But Hunter Sheen immediately wise to it. Using the Wind to essentially fade out the Sunray and then using it to just close in the distance. And now, the down six. Maybe expected Aztec to get breakaway just a little bit earlier, but either way, here comes Aztec. Oh, we're amplifying it now, though. We want the damage. Oh, yeah. Such good patience here. Essex has more patience, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> Go back down to earth, my friend. Better better damage, better mix-ups. Papa Cons. That was he gets not worth the, the worst risk. input error you can get with Kotal Khan. Missing out on the amplified disc and the pressure, or more, maybe even the cat with the back forward four. And that's going to be punishable for days. Is he going to still live, though? Eight point, there's no way. Do you believe in magic right now? The pushes put him down to one. He can survive one more. I mean, he does have a cat. You can't even right. risk the sun right here because with Han Rashid having meter. Wait a minute. You're not going to take any no damage. No damage. The jump. Oh let me go. How he let me go, Aquaman. How many times are we going to see people get absorbed by the end of that? I went into Combo Breaker forgetting that string even existed, and now we're just seeing it every time. And that was so smart of Han Rashid to jump in a Kotal Khan and do that push kick when he did. Because every Kotal Khan is going to try to anti-air stand one from that distance. Now, side switching throw Han Rashid off to a fantastic start. Aztec, I'd say back against the wall but with all that meter and all those resources. Not even mentioning the extra health. And the problem is though that... Oh, he's getting constantly mixed here. The environment, the beautiful throw escape, but he needs so much more. You want a flawless block? Eat this! And that's what covers people just jumping the command grab so well. Is going to get punished? Oh, back down to earth. Great old this too. You're right in Kotal Khan's face. He's, he's looking for the jump. I think it was Aztec off. That says unhand me. And barely this faces the jump in. Hunter, she could have had an opportunity right there for the whiff punish the jump. Get out of the sky at the floor. Two connects. We're going to scramble. Two, two whiffs. Down for the hit advantage and look for Aztec to swing right there. Keeps it safe. He does have the disc. That last one chases him down. And look at the movement of his own. That's a big boy moving quick. Four, two connects. And that just might do it. Aztec's going to stay alive. That is going to do an absolute ton of damage. More than likely going to be the oh, kill as well. Oh, he's, he's, oh he's you are dead, dead, dead. And you know what that brings us into, Mr. Aquaman? Final game, final round. This is what you love to see. Combo Breaker 2022. We haven't had MK here. Well, we haven't had a Combo Breaker in three years, <laughs> have we? Welcome back. This is what it's all about. Take away the gap. That's why he brings the ground cap right there. Love those mind games. And don't expect, and expect it. Maybe see oh, what a conversion. We've seen it all tournament long in final game, final round situations. Aztec breaks out the unblockable. Will we see it? I don't know. Maybe Han Rashid is thinking about it. Either either back to two unblockable or four to unblockable. I'm making the reads. Right. Oh, unfortunately, actually a bit of a damage trade-off in that sense. Who's going to get opened up next? Ooh. Whoa. You want to jump in, do you? Eat this grab. Regular stuff. Took away the gap right there, the 4-3 as well. Just trying to bully people for their knowledge is Aztec. With this cat, that's going to be the KD. Oh no! And this is huge. Aztec, no fatal blow. The comeback factor, not as big right now. He's going to need a little bit of damage. And that's going to be about all she wrote. Although he's going to survive with the gun right down to is enough. And Han Rashid avenges. The only loss of the tournament that he has is to Aztec. And now he's going into, this, into the quarterfinals. Got to be feeling himself pretty well after the run back. I said at Aztec. the start of this series between these two that it's almost a guarantee that the run back is going to be different to how things went the last time they faced. And that's exactly what happened. Aztec looked incredibly strong last time. And now going into this Han Rashid, not only really securing the run back and in such a fashion where there's adaptation all over the shop. This was how you want it to go. This and, was and how look you at want it to go. This, yeah. this was when he got the win. This was, this was from yesterday. Chair went flying. Han Rashid didn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I got here right as that ended, so I didn't know what happened. I was like, did Aztec lose? Did he pick the chair up and just throw I it? I want, 
I want Han Rashid's face right there as a as an emote on Twitch somewhere. That's all I'm saying. When people ask for meat for MK12. And then this was from their encounter just now. What a classic. As every match I feel like has been here at Combo Breaker. Cool. So much 